Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install safe tensors in Stable Diffusion in 2024. Of course, uh, safe tensors is a library that provides a safer and faster way to handle tensor data. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps to set up and install safe tensors with Stable Diffusion on your local machine. So make sure to follow the step-by-step -step guide. Make sure to Stick by, let's guy let's get by into this video, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, or before we begin, let's make sure that you have everything uh, you need. First of all, of course, you will need a computer with a decent GPU, very very needed, as both like stable diffusion and safe tensors require significant computational power. Additionally, you will need of course Python installed on your system. If you don't have it installed yet, you'll need to go and open a browser, whatever you have. For me here, as an example, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use this where you want. Once you open it, go to this URL section. Basically, just type python.org, of course, slash downloads. Hit the enter button. This will take you directly to the download page. Click on download right here. Once you click on it, of course, you'll it will be downloaded. And once it's downloaded, of course, install it. And once it's installed, it should be good to go. Other than that, you will also need like a git for virgin control. Uh, of course, you can get that from, as an example, open new tab, as simple as that, so open new tab, just type git, uh, like sem, so, sorry, like this, or not this one, uh, so scm.com, and hit the enter button. So here, as you can see, this will take you right there. So as you can see, if you click here on download for Windows, you can download this, of course, you can even download this for Mac, and of course, just download it, uh, standalone or portable whatever you want you can even download it using winget tool you can simply just copy this code open like terminal or powershell or uh yeah powershell or terminal basically just go and paste that code right there and you'll have to wait for it until it's installed and you should be good to go other than these two uh you would like just to ensure to have uh, like a stable internet connection for downloading the necessary files and yeah you should be like good to start so first you will need of course to set up or yeah, set up a virtual environment to keep your installation like clean and organized. To do so, you'll need to open uh, like PowerShell or Terminal or CMD. You can open CMD also for that. And of course, uh, once you open it, of course you'll need to navigate into the directory where you will need to install Stable Diffusion and Safe Tensors, and you'll need to run the following commands. The first command is this one basically for for me i'll not run this commands because i've already gone through this process so i'll just tell you the commands of course you'll need to run them run this command after that if you have a tool to copy like text from image it will be helpful for you to copy those things right away if you don't want to like type it manually it's up to you and the second command it should be this basically if you're in if you're on mac if you're on windows uh, you don't need to add source uh, you will change uh, you just have to delete source and change the slashes into back like uh, slashes or reverse slashes and of course instead of bin here you'll need to add uh, like scripts other than that uh, of course this basically will create and activate like a virtual environment uh, it will name stable diffusion env and next you'll need to install uh, like stable diffusion right away you can clone this stable diffusion repository from github and navigate into like the project directory you can open new tab basically just type like stable like uh, diffusion here uh, maybe like even get a uh, github and hit the enter button go to the url section basically you'll find the link from here uh, to where you'll have to clone basically you'll need to go here and click on type git clone and plus the url of course if you want the url you can get them as i said from here github or basically follow it or copy it from here after that you'll need to access this specific like uh, directory or file as you can see and of course now once you do so you'll need to install the required python packages using pipe so you'll basically have to uh, type pipe install uh, at requirement.txt and this will basically download and install the dependencies uh, needed for stable diffusion. Of course, stable diffusion will require a pre-trained model weights uh, to function. You can download these weights from the official repository. You'll find them in this readme as an example. And it will be like, uh, typically you'll find a file named, uh, it's going to be like model.skpt. So basically you'll have to download it. And once downloaded, you will need to move the file into models directory within like stable diffusion projects. Of course, just add here GitHub as an example. So GitHub. And of course, yeah, you'll find like the link to it where you to download it. Of course, uh, basically 
uh, you can of course also just install, install in it using pipe right away just type pipe install as simple as that so pipe install save sensors and basically this will download like the and install the safe tensors of course it's basically better to have the github here because this will give you all the necessary files and you'll uh, understand more about it so basically as we said the pipe will uh, like uh, will install safe sensors and it, safe sensors provide like a safer and more efficient way to handle sensors data compared to traditional methods after installing safe sensors you will need to integrate it with stable diffusion and of course, after installing safe sensors, you'll need to integrate it with stable diffusion. You can modify, of course, first of all, the script to use like safe sensors uh, for handling models, weights, and data. As an example, so basically, you'll need to type like from uh, safe sensors, basically, so safe sensors uh, dot uh, torch, and then import, of course, safe uh, like load. As simple as that. Of course, just uh, run this. After that, uh, of course, you can load mo model weights using some safe sensors. Uh, the code will be as following. As an example, oh, yeah, I'll just try. Okay, it's run the code automatically. So basically, the code will be as following. So it's going to be this, the first code and the second. Uh, of course, it should be like good to go once you run them one by one. For me, I did not do uh, the previous one. So it will provide here an error, but it's fine. And of course, ensure that you adapt the configuration according to your specific setup and the requirements. And this will enable stable diffusion to use safe tensors for loading and handling model weights. So with everything set up, you can now run stable diffusion with safe tensors. You can use, as an example, uh, this specific script. So as an example, I'll just show you this specific script. Uh, you will have just to change. So just take the script as it is and just change the, uh, of course, the prompts that you're going to use. So change here with this blue as an example, the prompt that you want. So whatever you want, type this here. Hit the enter button, and this should simply generate an image on your output file. Just go to your output directory or file, and you will find your image right there. And of course, like you should notice improvements, performance, and safety when handling model data, thanks to safe tensors. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.